Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on uh, the uh, Thursday, 26th of May 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignaler.com and download the latest uh, app uh, from the uh, uh, Google uh, uh, Android uh, Store and the Apple App Store. Now, these latest signals and market updates from leading providers can certainly be gained from there um, and that's myself included so I certainly update and uh, and send my analysis of signals out from there so certainly be sure to uh, download the app and uh, familiarize yourself with it okay in terms of the markets today Asian markets overnight we certainly have uh, the Nikkei closing more or less flat the uh, uh, Shanghai and the Nikkei were down overnight on the on the, on the back of uh, Abe's uh, uh, comment regarding a uh, Lehman style crisis uh, you can certainly see that here the Prime Minister is warning world leaders about Lehman style crisis uh, Japanese Minister Abe warned his group of seven counterparts of crisis and scale Lehman Brothers Nikkei reported offering a potential justification again and uh, delay an increase in national table tax Abe pres presented data at Thursday G session so he's also showing that commodities prices have fallen 55 percent the same model fell during the global crisis. Blah 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 blah. The voice concern, voiced concern about emerging economies, obviously emerging markets. So the fact that he's highlighting emerging market economies is really a risk-off scenario from my perspective. Adding the fact that uh, we've obviously had the uh, USD JPY below the 110 level now, dipping below, and the Euro USD certainly starting to rise is generally considered a risk-off scenario from my perspective. Now we've had Banco Popular this morning, obviously down almost 27%. Lonova certainly weak as well. We've had Daily Mail down 10%. So certainly early signs of cracks and uh, obviously uh, the fact that risk aversion is certainly setting in. Okay. Now this morning in terms of economic data, let's go over the economic data itself. Uh, we've had uh, GDP from Spain coming in line, uh, industrial Swedish industrial production coming out worse than expected. Retail sales out of Italy worse than expected. Uh, GDP data in line, although uh, the business investment, uh, business investment and in imports and exports certainly worse than expected from the UK. So again, that certainly is a negative factor. Of also, construction was down as well. So uh, weak economic data uh, uh, down, uh, or, or obviously from the UK perspective, also from Swedish perspective. And uh, with regards to Mr. Arbe's warning overnight as well. Oil certainly seems to be stuck at that $50 level. Let me bring up the price of oil because that certainly seems to be keeping this market afloat. Let me just bring up the EU indices. Bear with me. Load this up for you. Okay, so certainly indicating weakness, especially from the NASDAQ uh, itself, certainly indicating weakness. Uh, and obviously from the Russell itself, which again is feeding through into the uh, the S and P five hundred. Now let's just bring up this chart here. Bear with me. Let me just bring up the chart. Well, we can bring the chart of Brent for you, folks. Okay, let's just bring up the chart of Brent first and foremost. So the daily chart, you can see here, we are into previous support equals resistance into that diagonal trend line resistance, and therefore you're looking at a potential reversal there. On the daily chart of uh, crude, uh, again, you are testing the upper band. Okay, so the upper band is being tested on the price of oil. Okay, so certainly keep an eye out for that as well. We've taken out this resistance here. The next real resistance really seems to be at 51 on the daily chart, although you do have previous support equals resistance in this region. So for now, the price of oil, from my perspective, certainly is into that upper channel resistance and is at a key psychological level of $50. The weaker UK data this morning, and obviously out of Sweden, out of Italy as well, will certainly exert pressure on the uh, the price of oil as well because of weak demand, uh, organic demand. Okay. Now, in terms of the charts, let's bring up the charts for you. Now, uh, I have explained that the euro stocks is certainly into resistance here on the FIB 61% on the daily chart. The 60-minute chart, you can see that you are previous support equals resistance, and we're holding. We put in a bearish engulfing candle and we certainly seem to be consolidating thus far. 10 minute chart clearly shows that you put a double top intraday now looking to potentially close the gap at 3.010 below. So watch out below in terms of the uh, euro stocks. Okay, the next chart, uh, chart I'm going to bring up is the German DAX. Bring up the daily chart first of all. Into that 75% retracement looking at a potential doji there in the daily candle looking for a reversal. 60 minute chart we're into previous support equals resistance okay and looking for weakness as well given the fact that we've left an unfelt gap behind going to the 10 minute chart of the uh, 
the actual German DAX itself. Certainly, clearly, you can see the bearish engulfing candle. We seem to have taken out the previous high, but uh, certainly not very convincingly, okay? So for now, we are into a potential HNS formation style pattern. You're consolidating here, and then down we go, okay? So there we go. Uh, we certainly are looking to uh, formulate or uh, trigger that to bear flag scenario. Looking for a HNS formation down to support around the 10,170 on the German DAX, especially given the fact that Euro is starting to appreciate. And like I said, we've had weaker UK, weaker Italian, and weaker Swedish data. Okay, that certainly seems to be a scenario, an overriding scenario on the German DAX. Now the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC. Whilst we're here, let's just quickly look at the volatility indexes. The volatility index on the CAC, a volatility index certainly into support, therefore indicating a potential uh, uh, move uh, in the opposite direction. Uh, from a daily chart, you can see we are into potential support here and here. Uh, now, if we do break below on the uh, Eurostox volatility index, then your next support level is down below. But this zone is certainly a, a key support zone, and that's the zone that we are looking for uh, for a potential bounce. Now, this chart certainly needs cleaning up. Okay, so that's the daily chart uh, on the euro stocks. Okay, the next one that we're looking at is the CAC 40. Okay, the CAC 40, you are into that Fib 61 to 75 percent resistance. You've got the 200 MA above. The 60-minute chart on the French CAC, at the moment you're into previous support equals resistance and looking for a potential reversal. You do have the unfilled gap below, as you can see here, and that certainly seems to be the main attraction. The uh, or attraction for price action, should I say. The 10-minute chart of the French CAC, from my perspective, you are looking at another HNS style formation. Okay, again, uh, this mini HNS here, you had a bearish engulfing candle. Your left shoulder is here looking at the head, very unlikely to hit that given the fact that euro is starting to rise and obviously weaker data as well. And looking for a flush given the unfilled gap below. Okay, we have an unfilled gap that still needs to be filled at 4470. Again, that will be the potential target. Okay, that certainly seems to be overriding concern there. A downward move. Okay, now the FTSE 100. Let's bring up the FTSE for you. The 60 minute chart, given the weaker economic data that we've just seen, we've put in a bearish engulfing candle. Certainly indicating weakness again. Like I said, we do need to retest that 6200 zone, the one that we broke out from. Daily chart on the FTSE itself is into that FIB 61%. We've had this Greece uh, deal euphoria type rally, and that certainly seems to be factored in. 10 minute chart of the FTSE itself, same type of pattern on the German DAX. You are looking at HNS style formation. Uh, you can clearly see here we're consolidating, bearish consolidation, then looking to move lower. The downside target will be 6255 to 6280, looking for a 25 point move, looking at 6230, okay, and then potential gap fill at 6220. That's a zone that I would be focused on, okay. That certainly is what my expectations are for the European markets. In terms of other variables, I'm not going to discuss that for now. It's really the euro is probably the most important one. You are looking for a thrust higher on the euro, okay? We've already moved and bounced off that 1.13 level up to 1.17. Certainly, more uh, of a move is certainly uh, is certainly seen, okay? Especially given the fact that we've, we're into risk aversion mode. Okay, folks, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Specialist is Fred Beckham CFD brokerage, and up two and a half thousand pound with their 25% cash bonus offer. Terms and conditions apply. It's a win-win situation from my perspective. If you are interested. Email me and I'll get that applied on your new trading account. Okay, folks, goodbye now.